Hey there, welcome back to the channel. As promised, we received the part two of the PSA delivery. A little late, but hey, better late than never. So here we have it. This is what we submitted back in July. And this is, uh, we received the part one of the package about three weeks ago. So this is the part two of the uh, $18 special. All right. We did have an issue with one card apparently, and that card was this Michael J uh, Jordan dunking over Patrick Ewing. Um, it says here, recolored. Hmm. Um, I've opened this pack a long time ago, and I've never colored cards. I wouldn't even know how to color cards, but this is the card there in question. It's unfortunate, it'd be pretty cool to have a card like this graded or encapsuled of MJ dunking on Ewing. <laughs> oh well. So let's get right to it for the first card. A little disclaimer here. Um, this is my first submission to any of my cards getting graded. Take a look at this uh, Jordan first. This is the Skybox Intense. I remember this one. And this is a pretty sharp card, as you can see. And we got a nine. So I'm sure a lot of you have this card. I think it's pretty neat. It's pretty sharp. So we got a nine. Put in the nine pile there. This is a MJ card, Fleer 1990. So it's an older card, as you can see. The back looks pretty good. So let's see what we got. Hey, a nine. The good thing about this card is I have quite a few raw Michael Jordan cards. I have a lot, and I have a lot of this particular card here. So I'm sure now I can find a 10 and we can get this graded to a 10. But not too bad. I'm sure a lot of you have this card as well. The next one is a Fleer 90 All-Stars card. Michael Jordan, 5 of 12, 1990. So if you look at the centering right off, right off the bat, man, it's not centered. So something I really didn't check. You can see two stars on the side and one star there. So it's pretty off. So let's see. Be nice. PSA, there we go. <laughs> Eight. Okay, I'm just looking at the card here. Um, maybe a few issues right there on that corner, as you can see. I'm not sure if you can see there. But all in all, I'm happy. I have a lot of these cards as well, so I'm sure we can get to a 10 next time. Um, another MJ card here. This one is... Um, Tops. So let's see what we get with this uh, card here. If you look at the back, the centering, um, top to bottom, looks like the top has more. It's not centered that good in the back. So, oh man, seven. This is the finest, um, top's finest. If you look at the centering on the front, it's not good at all. So, yeah. Looks like an eight seven card. I don't see many blemishes on the surface, but I guess we'll take it. Next is a nineteen ninety. Um, I think this is an NBA hoops, if I'm not mistaken. And the back looks okay. Centering. Don't see many issues here, but let's see what we get. A seven. Looking at the front of the card, I just see a lot of edge issues. If you look here, there's some issues on the side of the card there. In the corner, a little jacked up. Man, so I have a bunch of these raw, so I should be able to improve this grade and end up selling a bunch of these and replace them with better grade ones for the PC. 
Oh, I just flipped that one over. This is another NBA Hoops 7. Um, the centering looks decent on the front of it. Let me see. Did you guys see something? And this card looks pretty decent. Maybe the back. Maybe the center rings a little off in the back. But, hey, that's what we got. Crushed. Okay. Next one is a Shaq. I think this was a Fleer, if I'm not mistaken. Um, hopefully we'll get a decent grade here. Looks okay in the back. All right. Let's do it. We've got an eight. I'm trying to see if I see any major blemishes in the card. Looking in the light, I don't see much, but there's an eight for you right there. Shaq rookie. This next one is from Classic Shaq One. So this is card number one from that particular series with the LSU. Um, this looks pretty good in the back. A little off the centering if you notice there. But overall clean card. Oh, there we go, nine. We'll take it. All right. Another Shaquille O'Neal upper deck. Um, looking at the bag, it looks okay. I see up here there might be some issues with some of that. Well, edging, we'll see though. And we got a eight. Mm, this card looks okay. Maybe that corner there. I don't know. But there's an eight for you. Okay, the next one. Upper deck. Michael Jordan. 1994. Six. Ooh. What's going on with this card? I didn't tell you. Looks clean. Maybe that corner a little bit. Couldn't tell you guys, but there you go. I'm getting crushed. Michael Jordan, you might remember this, when he announced that he was going to play baseball. Upper deck. Back looks okay. Maybe some edging issues with the card. We got an eight. White Sox top prospects. I see a little bit of edging issues there. Hmm. Eight. I think this is the one where he announced his retirement. This could be his retirement card or not. I can't remember, but here's another upper deck, MJ. And it is. I see some edging already right there. Corners, not as sharp. See that corner? They crushed me with a six. Man. Well, I got a lot of those cards as well. Okay, Sean Kemp. It's a hoops card. The back is off. You can see the centering is off. Corners look okay. NBA hoops. Seven. Yikes. I do have more of these cards. I'm trying to see here. The centering looks okay. Man, 
Okay, seven. I know a lot of you have that card. From NBA Hoops and Sean Kemp. Okay, now I think the next ones are some baseball. Yep. It's Ken, Giff Ken Griffey Fleer, 1991. I could already tell, man, there's a lot of issues with the uh, edging there. Centering's okay. But we got a six on the old Ken Griffey Gold. Excellent mint six. Next is Pudge. This has got to come out from Fleer. I believe this is his rookie card also. One of the rookie cards in many. But Pudge Rodriguez. Eight. Not too bad. Looks like just a little tiny bit maybe in the corner there. But man. At least a nine for this, but another eight. Tommy. I found this rookie card in the box. I thought it was nice and clean. Centering looks okay on this. Um, this comes from Pinnacle. You know, Pinnacle has that black edging that's going to be tough. Uh, I don't know, man. Eight. Centering looks okay. 92 prospect, told me. Eight. Look at that eight pile. Crushing it. Junior Seau. Man, rest in peace. But the back looks off-centered already. Got that going against me. <laughs> this was uh, out of score. That corner does not look good at all right there. And we got a seven. Check it out. The score. A little off centered. But seven for a junior. Next we have Ricky Henderson. This is the old Ricky Henderson that everyone collects too, because you know, look at all the crushed corners. I have a few more of these that I can grade, but just to get it encapsuled is good. Um, yeah, this, uh, this is coming out of tops. As you can see, it's quite messed up, but we got a four with a rookie Henderson. All right, last but not least, I don't know if you guys remember Hideo Nomo when he came from Japan to pitch for the Dodgers. He had a pretty unique pitching style. Um, let's see if we can get a good grade on Hideo. This was a clean card. This rookie from Emotion. Whoa, we got a 10 finally. We can't go out like that. We finally got a 10. There it is. No. Well, <clears throat> that's it. That concludes the second half of my PSA shipment. Like I said, I just submitted 30 cards with the $15 special from 99, 1996 to current. And I should be getting some pretty decent grades back when I receive those because uh, I was able to, like I said, do my research and, and find better cards to get graded. But as a recap, I got 110. I've got one, two, three nines, a bunch of eights. <laughs> Let's say six eights. I got five sevens. I got three sixes. And I got a four. Ricky Henderson. And one. No grade. All right, thank you for tuning in. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And till the next one, thanks for tuning in. Bye now.